think I'm right by the fire lines as I speak right now. And um, I'm just waiting for word to see where the fire is going, when the winds pick up, and I'm hoping to miss my house. In my home. Yeah. Just really bad. A lot of people died. I had one, I was asleep and my husband said, get up, get up, you have one minute to get out. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I opened the front door and I heard, I seen all the flames coming. So I just put my dogs in the truck and took off. I feel sorry for all those who've lost everything. The whole area is gone, huh? Yeah. We are here from Sable. Sable makes service. We have cooked food um, down the street. Uh, we have 10 truckloads of food that come on this morning. And we have been volunteering since 6 o'clock this morning. so much for your help thank you and it's just it's nice to be able to see that we're actually getting directly to the people and not just dumping it and leaving so thank you guys for your help i appreciate it i really appreciate all the help from all the people but thank you very much we appreciate everybody coming together but this is the way the communities come together Hopefully things will get better for you guys. It's going to be a long road. They're going to rebuild. Yeah, yeah, we will. Sure, we will. My name is Ron Mary and I'm with Bethel Global Response and I just want to thank all the people that are coming in and helping from Sewa. You just don't know the impact that you guys are having right now on the uh, survivors, the evacuees uh, from the surrounding areas from the fire. Just do any contributions to them. They're going to spend the money that you contribute uh, in amazing ways of giving housing to people and uh, just coming alongside the people who have lost everything in this disaster. Again, we just want to thank you from Bethel Global Response for coming out.